It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to reflect in the y-axis. Here's our question. We have triangle JKL, which is shown on the coordinate plane. A student will reflect triangle JKL across the y-axis. We're asked which coordinate plane shows triangle J prime, K prime, L prime, the image of triangle JKL after the reflection, and you're given four coordinate planes to pick from. So here's where you pause the video, make your best answer choice, and then come back and hit play to see mine. Good luck. Welcome back. So we are going to reflect triangle JKL, shown here, JKL, across the y-axis. And then we are asked to determine what the image will be from one of these four coordinate planes. So when we reflect across the y-axis, every vertice is going to go the same distance that it is on the left side of this line of reflection to the right side. So let's start with J. We're going to take point J, vertex J, and we're going to go the same distance to the right of the line of reflection. We're going to take K and go the same distance on the other side of the line of reflection, and the same thing with L. We're going to go the same distance on the opposite side of the line of reflection, and then we can draw our triangle. So this is the image J prime, K prime, L prime of the reflected triangle. So now we need to go and determine which one of these coordinate planes shows this image. I can see that A has an image in the third quadrant, not in the first quadrant, so we can eliminate answer choice A. Answer choice B has an image in the fourth quadrant, so we can eliminate that. And then I see that C and D both have images in the first quadrant, as I do. So let's see what the differences are. I see in choice C that it's J prime K prime L prime, and over here, we have J prime, K prime, L prime. So let's go up and compare. When we reflected J across the Y axis, our line of reflection, J prime ended up right here. So we can see that ma matches answer choice C and not answer choice D. So we can tell that the re correctly reflected image is answer choice C. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we were reflecting in the y-axis. I hope you have a good day, and you'll come back soon and see where we master math one video at a time.